Well, good evening. The man who fell more than 30 feet while climbing Bridalville Falls with flip-flops on is grateful to be alive tonight. And tonight he's sharing his story exclusively with KSL. News specialist Matt Rascone is in Provo Canyon with more on what he has to say. Matt? Yeah, Dan and Ashley, he broke his back, and a big takeaway for him is leave your flip-flops at home. But more than that, this is a story of survival for a guy who takes this bridge up to the falls often for all that it has to offer. Since his first hike up the falls last year... It was like a little slice of heaven. The view at Bridal Vale Falls... Beautiful, beautiful. ...has kept Justin Hill coming back again and again until this month. Oh, my goodness, like, I... I almost died here. On September 8th, he made an unexpected stop here by himself. I parked and I got my flip-flops on. But when he got to the point he had been so many times before... And I was looking up, I'm like, you know, I want to go higher. To get there, he had to climb up a small rock wall. I was just sitting there, just enjoying the view. But on the way back down, he slipped. I can't describe how, how it was. Definitely terrifying. I didn't know what was happening. Hill fell 30 to 40 feet onto his back with part of his body hanging off the edge. The only thing that stopped me from falling another um, 100, 150 feet, people were telling me, was um, this little tree. The pain was agonizing. It, it hurt to move, it hurt to breathe. But somehow, I made myself move. He managed to inch his way from the edge and call 911. 15 minutes into the call, he could hear the ambulance. Justin, are you okay? Like, I need you to talk to me. Like, what do you see around you? I need you to stay with me. But it was an hour and a half before a helicopter found him. I remember just looking around and just the view of that was beautiful. But the pain brought him back to the reality that he had broken his back. One week after surgery, he was out of the hospital. They removed the staples today, actually. Today was his first time back at the falls. Definitely learned my lesson not to go hiking in flip-flops. And thanks to the view and his survival, it won't be his last. I definitely feel that someone higher above has bigger plans for me and didn't think it was my time to go. Quite the story. As you saw, Hill now walks with a cane to help keep his balance. That's temporary. Uh, he has another surgery in the next few months to remove that, those rods and screws from his back. Dan and Ashley. Wow, so glad that he is okay. What a hard way to learn a lesson, but so glad, again, that he will be okay. Matt, thank yeah. you.